Hi, I'm Sherry from Whole Circle Studio and welcome to week nine of the Leaf Peepers Quilt Along. This week we're quilting block four, our last leaf. I'm going to continue to use my walking foot and matching thread. Here's some beautiful threads that I'm going to use this week um, for the orange, the red, and this magenta purpley. So let me go show you on the machine a little bit of a demo. So I went ahead and I outlined um, to the edge of the ditch around my orange shape. And now I want to show you how I measure some of these trickier points. It's the same technique that we've been doing all along, but let me show you. So I quilted along the ditch, like I said, and I'm now perpendicular to it. I'm going to measure my 3 eighths as I have in the past, um, because that is the distance again from my needle to the edge of this walking foot, and I want to use this as a guide. So I measured my 3 eighths just now. I'm going to move up to that without running it over, take the pin out, I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to then align the edge of my walking foot with the quilt line, the quilted line I just did. When I get close to where I need to turn, again, I'll use my ruler and a pin. I'll put the ruler um, just parallel to the quilted line and put the pin in at 3 eighths of an inch. And then I'll put it, I'll measure it perpendicular to this. And I'm a bit off, so I'm just gonna move this so it's 3 eighths that way three-eighths that way and I continue to just I can um, adjust my pin as needed so I know that's where I need to stop to pivot Again, be careful not to run it over and then I can turn and I'm just gonna do this all the way around for this point I know if I can get the ruler so that it is sort of follows that line. I could just measure off of the quilted point, three eighths, and that's where I'm gonna stop.
So I made it all the way around and I'm going to do the same thing I just did. Just pivot, measure 3 eighths of an inch up and then just do exactly what I did all the way around to complete the orange. I'll be back in a little bit to show you the finished block. I finished quilting my block four, my last leaf, you could see here. Um, and I'll be posting on the blog some close-up photos of the quilting. And again, I really love looking at these blocks from the back with the straight line stitching. You can really get the sense of that leaf without, um, without the fabric on the front, which is kind of a nice effect as well. So finish up your final leaf, and then next week we'll start talking about the background quilting. Let's make something awesome. <laughs>